Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with a new Oxen Free series. We have already done a Let's Play with Squirt Reynolds, and that was really fun. We both liked the game a heck of a lot. Uh, so far in 2016, this is my game of the year so far. It's only March. Um, what we're going to do in this playthrough is we're going to make a bunch of different decisions, some unpopular decisions, and also uh, go completionist and try to get all the anomalies and do the complete treasure hunt. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. There's several points in the game where uh, they quote Big. history facts incorrectly. You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my, my mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. Dorbs. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto, so you're in luck. So, so. how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little nice skin potato blobs. Yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Oh my god, toddler penis. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. It? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. So, um... Come on, Alex, join the fun! Squirt Reynolds shows sort of like a lot of uh, kind of aggressive dialogue options. And we'll just try to choose different ones so we get to hear all the different stuff. There, great. Get different I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. 
So, uh, Ren's kind of a redhead. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Hmm. Also interesting that it's sort of like a Polaroid picture there, but obviously it's digital. He says he's gonna erase out all the warts and stuff, Photoshop. But also interesting the background's so blurry there. So yeah, um, we'll choose as many different dialogue options as we can. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Sure, you're we're gonna pack. have a smoke. Yeah. Sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were going to vomit on my shoes. Since now, that's when. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. <laughs> Here's the smoke if you want it. Huh. That's quite different. <laughs> you alright? They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in <clears throat> flavor country over here. <laughs> Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, really? Just, that's... Uh, what could you possibly have to say that Ren can't hear? It's not like that, it's nothing really. It's just something I want to talk to you about super fast, that's all. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems be nice. right, Ren. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm... Sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. That was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much uh. to set up. Oh. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. Huh. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, uh. well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. I want to find out why he was in jail. That... is different. Now, that looks like he's interactable. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. <laughs> okay. Like, this is definitely a game that I think, uh, stands up well in multiple plays. You'll, you'll find it a whole lot more. It's kinda kitschy. Right? It's kinda kitschy? Yeah, it's like, a uh, quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. <laughs> uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot. 
forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never under heard the of this before. Kind of creepy Patrick. in a way, right? On October yeah. 28th, 1943, I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Yeah. Named after the I would not want to be on a sub. The USS Kanaloa was launched. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna keep an eye out for all the cairns. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. <laughs> You'd like her. She's tall. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Hello, kids. That's true. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean... Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices, or just sound. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Hmm. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call a local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man. That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... <laughs> Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. <laughs> Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it isn't.
Like I remember on this old show, Little House on the Prairie, there was something where people in the olden times, like when you had a litter of kittens and you didn't want to take care of them, people would put the kittens in a sack and throw it into a lake. And I guess that the people did just because they were sick, evil people. I think the dumpster but, will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Perfectly in sync. You already do this? You already do this freaky stuff? So, unlike our other playthrough, we're gonna be nice to Clarissa. We're gonna, no matter how mean she is, we're gonna try to defuse it and see if that goes in a different direction. I can already tell, like, the relationship with Ren and the and Jonas are a little bit different. All oh, right. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear- Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Huh. See, the dialogue okay. gets cut off sometimes. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And... Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting the picture now. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Their... We've been hearing about <laughs> this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this game's so cute. I'm actually, so like the beginning part, I'm liking more than the first time because I'm picking up so much more stuff. The dialogue's really different when you choose different things. <clears throat> Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? 
Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. What? Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. So, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear... Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's oh, all. Ren. She's cool. She's... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. Can we just drop this, please? All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. Yeah, everything's coming up, Alex, isn't it? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. <laughs> Backstabbing surprises. Benjamin so, Spanklin slapped Red in the oh, face, well, yes. You. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus uh, man? Clarissa. Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching. Do you the- like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, so no, I gave her an don't. easy... But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything. She's being now. nicer already. I'm sure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. He, uh, seems okay. Right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh... Thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really... Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You di- know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Yeah. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. (laughs) 
Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Hmm. Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. Ah, you can talk to them. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... They went to that weird carnival. <laughs> How'd he even get Jenny out of the house? <laughs> I don't know. So, what happened? They just... It was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks and they, like... She wanted something like a named thing? Oh, God. Yeah, like... Like a... Some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of, like, the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Of course that's how it went. Okay. Thanks for making the fire. Yeah, sure. Gotta put those owl scout lessons to use. Look, Nona, now that we're not playing that stupid game, what do you really think about Ren? Uh, what do you mean? You know, as a boyfriend. Oh, that. Look, Alex, Ren seems nice, and I know he's your friend and, you know, whatever, but I'm just not in the mood for something right now. Um, so if you could just, like, tell him that, just so he, like, doesn't get his hopes up or whatever. Just think about it, will you? He's not a bad guy. I know, but you think about it, too. Think about dating him? No. Think about telling him I'm not into it so he doesn't, like, get his hopes up or whatever. Oh. Hmm. You look relaxed. I am relaxed. Clarissa, I want to be friends. Can we be friends? <laughs> this is like a very special episode of Fart Date. <laughs> I'm Fart friends date. with everybody, Alex, all right? Relax. So that looks like there's that's all you can do. Huh, I don't know if we started. We are the fire starter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we are truly marvels of modern science. <laughs> we are the fire starter. Oh man. Alright. Let's go, Big J. Uh yep. Get any reception? Or no, not really. I, uh, didn't realize our cell phones wouldn't work on the island. Kind of promised my dad I'd call him. He never used to be this, uh, needy, but since my mom died, he's kind of shortened the leash on me a bit. He's gonna be kind of pissed. Not a good way to start the move, huh? He has my mom, so... Ugh, that's where you go. Oh, not like that. I just mean, you know, he has somebody else to talk to. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'm just gonna write him a text, so in case I wander into a couple of bars or something, he might get it. Alright. Let's all go to the cave. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. Alright, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's mm. Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. It's a game called Truth or Slap, Ren. It's supposed to be a goof. I thought you'd laugh. Why would I laugh at that? It really sucked, actually. I'm sorry. I am. I, I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. 
I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger now. Rose, come on. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I mm. am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those <laughs> look like brownies. Brownies. Oh, you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Uh, yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Well, that's kind of lame. He had okay, a bunch so of brownies. He wouldn't give us one. The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know... Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, Ben. Because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds, uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say, but close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I think you mean brownie. I think you mean, uh, yeah. Cool. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. A good place to leave off. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe and join us for episode two of our completionist and alternate choices gameplay of Oxen Free, my game of the year for 2016 so far. That's all for now. Spinning Mantis, out. Namaste.